Hi and welcome to my tutorial. Uh, it's tutorial 11, as always. Uh, let's start. Oh, it's gonna be ah basics, just basics, you know. There's not nothing. Sorry, just fix my microphone. Um, there's nothing. I mean, there's nothing gonna be advanced. I'll just tell you how it works and everything. Okay, first of all, find your editor. It will be in Electronic Arts, Crytek, and Crisis. Uh, open it up. Right. You, as you can see. This is the editor. I'll just tell you how everything single works. This is speed. You can put it to anything you want. The speed of your camera, how fast you move outside of the game, not inside, but it's outside of the game in the editor, like moving the camera around again. Uh, one is default, 22, like it's fast and goes up and up. Now, I physics. That means you can be in game, but you can still you can still move objects. It's you you activate the, uh, everything like in game except yourself. If you get my point. Uh, no sign position. It shows the player. It sets the position of the camera uh... right now this is well this is selects the object this selects and move select and move route turns around uh... select and scale uh... select terrain area and brush paint just paint these are axes I don't if you know what axes mean, then you can you know you can skip this part. Axes are ha where your items spawn. Like what position? High, like you can move them up only or down only. X, Y, and Z is uh, both ways, like left and right. X, Y is both, like X, Y, Z means all them together. This is follow the terrain. Uh, when you spawn an object, it will follow the terrain, not go underground. This will go underground the terrain. Just I don't know if you use it, if you want to use it for advanced techniques, then use that. Just use this grid. Archaeologists use this kind of method. That's all you need. If you put this. For example, if you spawn a barrel or anything, any other object, it will kind of have a grid over it, so it will move, leaving space between it. Now, about the database. As you can see, this is our database. To load stuff, you press this, and you have all the default stuff. Well, actually, all, all all there is this, and you can spawn. Uh, yeah, just click this and prop ups. It's gonna be every uh, uh, just different stuff, big barrels and frozen humans. I'll tell you about that later. About that big door and everything. Prefab. is advanced like buildings harbor it will spawn big buildings it won't spawn the small building part but it will spawn actual building uh, vegetation that's later particles I have lots of fun with this 
uh, for example, smoke and fire. AA round. You can. I came out of the map for you just to show you what it is and what it means. New map. Just generate my surface texture. There is no land because I did not add land. Now back to the particles. And let's spawn smoke and fire. Factory smoke. Let me see. Um Ah well, I like this so but no one <laughs> there. See, makes it's a missile. So if you wanna move that, I made it bigger. Well, you can play it all with props. You can see that it's different stuff. Melee, miss, score, steams like. Mist is one alien bugs. Uh, I forgot rocket. Okay. Well, Mist is it's still those and everything. It's props, as you can see. Music, add any kind of music if you want. Um, I'll tell you about that later. I'll tell you that about that later too. Okay. Next is photograph. This is hard in some ways. It uh, allows you to control IE. I mean the com PC or editor controls the IE. So that means when you play in game the uh NPCs IEs and cars uh, and you get you do lots of cool stuff with this. You do yeah. Uh, this records your play. This also can help you render your gameplay. I'll tell you about that later s in some point. That's the basic things I'd say. Yeah. Chapter editor. I'll tell you about that later. That will be really hard for you, hard for you to understand. It took me quite a while. Um, yeah, if you wanna turn, y y turn this, it's, it's a roll apart, you know, it helps you, and everything will help you, like, find stuff and everything. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Say, so you can see the terrain's moving, but you can't see yourself. Well, you can fix that by just loading your map again. Just click this and uh, yes, save it. You know, if you can load next time. <coughs> and we there's there's fire under the water. Fire under the water. Fire under the water. Well, I hope you got my drift. Thanks for watching and if you can please subscribe, rate and comment. I'll really ha that would be really supportive. That would I would love you. I hope that won't make you not subscribe. Well anyways, thanks again for watching my video and I hope this helped and please uh support me by subscribing to my channel. Thanks and goodbye.